Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. We're cooking today, kind of. We're not really cooking, but it has to do with groceries. I promise you. All right, so went up town. Got a super good deal on some ribeyes. Look at them bad boys. $5.99 a pound. So I said, you know, I'm going to grab two packs of them. So that's six steaks. But we got to put them up the right way so they don't get freezer burnt. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put them in the freezer because literally that's six meals. Because uh, me and mom will share one, you see. Uh, when we eat a steak, it's usually, you know, we got some potatoes and spinach or whatever uh, going along with it. So I'm going to show you the proper way to do it or the way I do it the proper way, which is my way. Hang tight. So, to start off with, I grab a roll of butcher paper. You can get it, you know, at the big stores, the Sam's Club, stuff like that. I don't know. Some of the little guys might have it, too. Especially if they have a little butcher shop, you might could ask them for uh, what a roll costs. But it comes in handy, hamburger meat and all that other type of stuff. All right, so here's what I do. And I'll get that steak out. And I'm going to get it on there. I, I pre-cut three sheets to show you how I do it. And uh, we're, it's just a matter of folding it up tight. Tight enough to where, you know, it don't look all bulky and stuff in the freezer. And I, there's three there's three flips. And let me, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this paper right quick. Let me go get some scissors. All right, I did three flips. This will be just the close of that last one. And I just fold the end in like that, fold this other end in like this, and come on over like that, where it's tight. Do the same thing on the other side. Just like that right there. And then we're going to tape it. Okay, there's our ribeye. Now we're going to mark it because uh, we want to know, you know, in case another set goes on sale, we want to make sure what we're dealing with. We want to eat these first, right? So we got some ribeye. And it's going to be, this going to be three of 23. There it is. Ribeye three of 23. And in the freezer it goes. So wrap it three times. You go four if you want to. Just make sure it's pretty tight. You want everything kind of tightened up. It should go in the freezer, and uh, so the next time we want a steak, and they're they're eleven ninety five a pound, not me. We're going five ninety five, baby, five ninety nine. Yeah. Like I said, do it with hamburger meat too. Uh, I think that's the only things we've really done: is hamburger meat and steak. Uh, but uh, we used to do it. Oh, I brought this thing out here because I wanted to show you this. We used to do them with these little food saver. Get off her. These little food saver pouches like this. You suck them down. And then they seal real, real tight. I don't like them. I, I, uh, I've, I've went out there before and, and a few of them be busted open. And then you got icicles all in there. And then you're just hoping, man, oh, God, I hope it don't taste wangy or something. But this right here, I have yet, a year old steak even, have yet to to, to grab one that's just, mm, no, nah, that's freezer burnt. And I don't know why. You would think that that plastic thing would be 10 times better. But that old butcher paper, I think last time I bought that roll was like 20 bucks. I'm sure it's went up since then because that's been, you know, a good couple years ago. Because it lasts a long time unless you buy a bunch of meat. But, uh, or have to, you know, kill a kill one of your animals, your hog, I mean, your, your cow or something and put him up. And, yeah, you're going to go through a big old roll. But anyway, God bless you all. See you in the next video. Now, dog, I'm fixed to go chunk this meat off in the freezer. Don't you even think about jumping up here and grabbing that other piece. I mean, you have a bad day. Ain't that right, baby dog? Yeah. Too tired to even worry about it, ain't you, baby?